Hey, it's Pasties Primary, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3, where we're continuing our first playthrough of the game. And, uh, yeah, um, what did I do? Okay, so in the last video, we were in the Gauntlet of Shah, and I did look it up, and, um, basically the opinions were that that sort of, like, cuts you off from a lot of missions and almost ends the act or something like that. Um, so the recommendation is, is finish off any missions that you can that are in this area, go and do a lot of Moonrise Towers, and then you've got to make it, I don't know, somewhere along the line there's a point where you do the Gauntlet of Shah and then something in the Moonrise Towers, but I don't know. But I have come back here, anyway, I don't know if I did that in the video or after, but, um, where are we? What's it called? The last light. I just jumped back here to see if this guy had anything to say. Sell some stuff. Whatever we need to do. And what I'm thinking is that we go and check out. Uh, what have we got? Well, not that, because that is the. Uh... We go and do this stuff over here. All right. So there's this one here. Uh, and there's, oh, we've got a new one, Roland's location. Okay, so we've got a few things new that have popped up, which we need to go and check. Um, but we do want to do this. Wake up Art Kong, and then... Man, there's so much stuff. Moonrise Tower, okay. Tieflings. Yeah, lots of stuff. All right, so if we want to go to here, we probably would jump to here and then somehow walk across there. Does that make sense? I thought we'd go back to this rain with town, but that's more about that toll house. Hmm. Um, before we do that, we need a long rest because we are not in a good state. That is for sure. So I'm hoping no one wants to really talk. Um, where are we? Breathe deep and move. Do you know what happens when a devil is struck down on this charming plane of existence? It returns to the hells, to the very point where it last stood before venturing to whichever devil-forsaken plane it died on. In the case of our friend Yergir, the Orthon you so handily dispatched in the Temple of Shah, he manifested in my House of Hope. He returned to me chastened but intact. His wounds healed, his body restored. He thought I would dismember him. But he has his uses. So instead, I am re-educating him. We delivered the devil. Now I want what I'm owed. We had a deal. Indeed we did. I discovered all there is to know about those scars of yours. It's a rather grim tale. <laughs> Even for my tastes. Stop, stop. As you wish. Brace yourself, Astarian. We're about to unveil your destiny. Carved into that ivory skin of yours is one part of an infernal contract between the archdevil Mephistopheles and your former master, Kazador Zar. In full, the contract states that Kazador will be granted knowledge of an infernal ritual so vile it has never been performed. The rite of profane 
ascension. It promises to be a marvelous ceremony, very elaborate, incredibly ancient, and entirely diabolical. If he completes the rite, he will become a new kind of being, the Vampire Ascendant. All the strengths of his vampiric form will be amplified, and alongside them he will enjoy the luxuries of the living. The arousals and appetites of man will return to him, and unlike Astarian, he will have no need of a parasite to protect him from the sun. But the ritual has its price. As all worthwhile things do, Lord Gazador will need to sacrifice a number of souls, including all of his vampiric spawn, if he is to ascend. Imagine how he felt then, when one of those precious spawns simply disappeared into thin air. The only missing ingredient is Astarian. You are the final piece he requires to complete the ritual. Your scars bind you to it. Your soul will set off a very wave of death, bringing Cazador his twisted life. And that, my tragic and toothsome friend, is that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have business elsewhere. Yeah, let's go with number one. Do you think it's so simple? Uh, the end of my life amongst them. Just when I was starting to enjoy it. He'll never leave me alone. I didn't think he would when I was just one more wretched toy for him to play with. But if I'm the key to this power he craves, he'll hunt me to the ends of Faerun. <sighs> I need to take the fight to him. And I need you to help me. Thank you. I guess we're going to hunt him down. Not sure when, but... Alright, well that was the Raphael thing. Uh... So what did we do? Raphael told us about the Rite of Profane Ascension. Kazadar plans to perform it. Sacrificing his vampire spawn. In exchange for great power, Starion is the only missing piece of the ritual and Kazadar needs him back. Astarian told us he wants to take the fight to Kazadar in Baldur's Gate. Yes. Yes, he did. Okay. Let's sleep. Oh, that's a bit much. What the heck? Hmm. Wait, how did that now become 40? It's a bit weird. Okay, we are now healed.
Alright, so let's jump over here. Let's do a quick save. Okay, now... Is that this way? Oh, it is. Okay. Silver knife. Hospital library key. Oh, definitely take that. Out. Handkerchief. Always room for more. Is that an expensive handkerchief or just probably not. Death of Divinity, a godly god. Have we read that one? Death is too powerful a force for even a single god to contain. It is a duty that has been passed from hand to hand, splintered into smaller pieces, disease, war, funeral rites. But there must always be an overseer of the cycle as life falls away. <clears throat> For countless eons, it was Jurgle, the lord of the end of everything, presided over mortality with his unblinking stare, until even he grew wary. Young Bol, Bane, and Merkol must have thought themselves conquerors when they came for the god of death, yet he used their ambitions to free himself. Miracle claimed primacy over death from Jurgle's bargain, but even he does not rule death alone. What is murder, if not the most violent of deaths? Seized by Ball is his incessant greed. What need would there be for noble Kelumvor to judge passing souls if one deity could hold the process entire? Even gods can die after all. Those who worship death should remember that above all else. Oh, I didn't really want to take that, but... Oh, there's a chest there. What's in here? Lord of Madness, Volume 4, Yingle, whatever. Of all the demon lords, a few have made their mark on the world as firmly as Yenogahu. Though his ravenous hunger is claimed to be a mindless compulsion, there is nothing mindless about the thorough insinua insinuation of his presence in the world via his chosen gnolls. But how are Nulls created? First, a chosen of Yignog must do as their master wills, kill, 
a hyena that then feasts on the corpse of the chosen's victim, and a gnoll is born of the glutted belly of the hyena. Gnolls thus born a hunger manifest. They ravage any living being, tearing body and bone asunder, leaving behind only bones. They care not for wealth or material gain, only to uh, satiate, satiate, satiate their hunger. I can't remember how you say that word. That satiation uh, is itself an offering to, oh God, this name, Yenog, funneling, funneled directly to him. Some might envy the Gnolls for such a tangible connection to their created god, but that envy would melt to utter terror as soon as the beast's rotting breath and wicked cackles make their way through the dark of night. If you should find yourself the object of a Gnollish pursuit, burn your corpses, cover your scent and pray to whoever might aid you, for there is no bribing, begging or reasoning with hunger incarnate. there is a guild just we came in i thought here yeah so there's nothing there but there is a chest there So we got surgery kit. Don't waste the step. The hell's a surgery kit? Okay, so I'm going to guess we need to go here. Didn't do anything. Okay. 
It's interesting. Maybe we should just look at the roof. Still breathing, despite everything. On my way. Deal with a pig's head. Yeah, they're not really worth anything. But it's worth money. The pig's head camp supply? Ah, it is. That's where we came in. No real path over there. No, okay, so you sort of got to go in and out of windows. the same room. Well, it's all going to be the same room. Please, 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 you won't. You hear somebody. We could jump down here. of the Crivens family. May the gods forgive him. Here rests Violet Goldhammer, beloved singer. May her voice live on in our memories. Keep your distance, darling. With pleasure.
Poisoner's Gloves. Whenever you deal poison damage, the target needs to succeed. Uh, okay. I don't think we're going to use that, but we might send it to the camp. Never know. Every page of this medical text is crisp and unblemished, and every quill stroke precise. Sharon uh, Amphorum... Oh, God. Aphorism... Oh, I can't even say it. Uh, yeah, that word. And general philosophies accompany the explicit diagrams and surgical guidelines. Only with sacrifice is mastery gained, so has Our Lady said. And so I say to you, dearest reader... The darkness is infinite, but a master's teachings are not. When his wisdom is exhausted and his pupils fully versed, there shall come time for one final lesson. He will become the subject fully laid bare for his students to consult, examine and dissect. The sisters shall one day know me, first in whole, last in part, only then will they be masters. Okay. Um, okay, what's in there? Yeah, some clothes. Something good here, I Did I check those books? No, Judge of the, or oh, Judge of Damned. An excerpt from the book in which, uh, if Figan Mahog Mahogris, oh God, why is his name so hard? Discusses the strange theistic uh, history of mortals becoming gods. There have been many lords of death who cast judgment upon souls lost and found alike. Among them was Clevermore. Clevermore, is that right? I think I've been saying that way before. Whatever, we'll go with that. A hard man of harder convictions. As a mortal man, he was a mercenary with a paladin's stoic beliefs hidden under a crust of skulls, scowls and grumbles. As Lord of Death, he has forced he was forced to mellow both aspects of himself, for the impulses of a man and a god are not consummate. Mortals are allowed caprice but immortality wears that stone smooth quickly and Cle Clevermore chose cool prudence over cold malice. How much farther can I go? Therapeutics. Nips except from Magritte's Oji's uh, Therapeutics. Discussions with the, oh God, Anoromancer yield nothing of merit so far. New incense and hallucinogens trigger nothing. Another fruitless day. Something's happened. The Anoromancer ingested something one of her own clients recommended. She refuses to divulge the name of the substance. But her dreams were scrawled on the nearby blank canvas as we'd intend, intention, intentioned. Here is what the painting shows. Depictions follow of weird lumbering shapes sailing over cities, metal windmills attached to their sides. And here oblongs fitted with wheels tearing locomotive across a track. And here a mechanized person waving directly at the viewer. Okay, so I'm expecting this door to go outside. But let's just a crooked touch. Be sure.
And yes, it does. This door is not locked. All right, we're going to save. Oh, God. The heck's going on here? The objective of the Scalpel Sisters is to soothe. For the Scalpel, indeed, is an extension of Sha. See how the patient reacts when I but stroke the right nerve. Hear its comfort, hear the very melody of mercy. Pray, sister, show us the extent of your beneficence. Stop, stay your hand, for it slaps where it should stroke. We can hardly hear the patient's sighs of solace. Perhaps it is our unexpected audience that makes you quiver. Come, step forward. You are no sister, but that matters none. Every student is welcome. Uh, let's go with the Druid option. I am no steward, student. I seek knowledge of the curse. It is a blight on this land. A curse? Nay, a cure that leads to the very pinnacle of being. Absence. Absence. No other word captures the heart of Shah so very perfectly. It is the scalpel-led journey that leads from pain to peace. What the fuck is this loon talking about? See? What is the light of eyes but the cancer that causes one to witness the laceration of being? If light is the symptom, then darkness is the cure. For in light there is presence, but in darkness there is absence. In light is presence, in darkness, absence. But you, look how the sucker of Shah eludes you. See how painfully present you remain. We do not wish to see you suffer so. Let us cure you. Um, okay, let's start with the investigation. Examine the sisters and their implements. The sisters' blades are bloodied and dull. Only the most measured hand could make a clean incision. Their blades are uneven. Efficient surgery will require further training. Their incisions are, as yet, still streaked with imprecision. That much, I must concede. How to steady their hands, I wonder. Uh, okay, so that changes everything. Intimidate. I've read your treaties. Initiate the final lesson or die by my hand. Only with sacrifice is mastery gained. For the sisters to learn, you must submit. Why not have them hone their skills on each other? Hmm... <laughs> Okay, what's on one day four? Of course, it had to be the same, didn't it? Oh. Hmm. I'm trying 
try that. No. Uh, we do have a freebie. Well, not a freebie, but we've got four, so we can't gain any more inspiration. Alright, we'll do one extra roll. No. 18. It's a hard one. I rather think your sacrifice will be quite masterful enough for our purposes. Sisters, speak the truth that I have taught you. The scalpel soothes. Come sing its song. We would hear your melody of mercy. Okay. I guess we're fighting. Very high. Oh, do we take out the sisters first? Okay, so fire's no good. Everything else seems to be okay. No bonuses though. Okay, no necromancy or fire. So, definitely no fire. I was thinking, what happened to Astarium? But he is paralyzed. You 
picked the wrong fight, friend. One day I'll catch a break. That was a big hit. Deal an additional one to eight poison damage. Sure. Why would I not? some blood. Luck of the Far Realms. When you make a successful attack roll against a foe, you can change that hit into a critical hit. Oh, she did. Okay. Not enough action. I get hindered or something. Can't do anything. Oh well. I guess we killed something, so that's pretty good. Oh, 
That's a good hit too. Bad choice, man. Okay, um... You know what? I'm gonna go with this one. Blood comes easy these days. Threatened, we slowed. Oh, you brought somebody back. Okay, that's really annoying. Bleed for me. Oh, 
bone saw. So I could jump. Three. Okay, that was a pretty good one. He does have a lot of health, though. Okay, back again. Really annoying. Here, can I shoot? It's not a good shot. Might still hit. Alright, we'll take it. How do you miss while they're laying on the ground? I don't get that. That's just stupid. That should not be possible. Another miss while they're on the ground. I mean, I know technically it's a roll of the die, but still. You shouldn't... No, I don't know. It sh just shouldn't be possible still. Okay, he's taking a flogging. <laughs> And there's the assistant. <laughs> He's got threatened. Well, we'll just take down straight away Let's turn someone inside out uh hmm just 
still haven't got a good shot, have you? Keep guessing. Oh, that was bloody brilliant. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Yeah, I could jump again, or I could just. Uh, I think I have to. Because we're not getting good percentages. Yeah, it's better. So close, eight more. HP. Serious? Time to kill. Survival is all that matters. All right, let's not get complacent. We got gold. Surgeon subjugation amulet. Once per long rest, when scoring a critical hit on a humanoid, the wearer can paralyze the target for two turns. All right, we got loot. Crystalline lens. Another key. And supply packs. Okay. All right, we'll take all that. Wake up, ah, uh, oh, so what, what did that do? We found a loot bearing Art's initials in the House of Healing. Maybe playing it for him will bring him back to his senses. Oh! Ah. Interesting. Let's have a look. Now I'm stuck in animal form. Severed arm. What's hiding here? Okay, what else do we have? Soul coins, a treatise. Have we read that? I think we have. But we, we had read about soul coins, I'm sure. Right? There's nothing with haste.
Price of Pride. A record of Ketherick Thorm's speech to his troops before his victory over the Druids and Harpers. Take this, you there, take this from me. That is gold, friends. Let those who are covetous and cravens among you take my gold and go. There's enough to keep you warm in winter, but in those cold and lonely winters to come, you will look into the bought flames in the purchased hearth and see a bargained for peace. And then you'll realize that such a retirement comes at a price of pride. Go on and take it, take it and go. Those who are not afraid and me, we won't stop you, but nor shall we know a winter in which the coin of regret is idly spent. Instead, we shall know blood and fury and triumph worthy of a flame reconcilable only with heaven, I swear it. Against us arrayed is a group of fools. Let them be our bank vault. Let us raid them, friends. Let us grow rich on screams. I feel I've already read that one. Okay. There seems to be... Some stuff here to discover. I don't know if we came in the back door or... What? Uh, but we're going to quick save and we're probably going to have to leave it for there for this video. So we need to look around this place. Uh, check out this guy here that's probably suffering. And um, think about taking the loot back. And then I guess we can come back again and look around some more somewhere else. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts, opinions about how I'm playing, all that sort of stuff in the comments. If you are enjoying the content, please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that like button. Check out the membership options and the thank you button if you want to support the channel further. And say hi in the comments. Let me know you're watching. And let me know any other games you're watching on the channel as well. Read all the comments and answer them all as soon as I possibly can. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.